Hey guys, it's Monica. Thank you so much for joining me. I am going to share with you just a few empties, a couple of fails, and some things that I've bought. And the things that I've bought, at least one of them, I was influenced to buy from a YouTube influencer. So if you're curious, stay tuned. Okay, so it's it's been, I don't know, it's been quite a, has it been like two or three weeks since I've actually done a sit down type video? I mean, the last few videos I think I've done have been vlog styles because I've been sharing different things. So we went, we went to Cape Cod. I think that was in my last vlog. We went down to Cape Cod. I had every intentions of shooting a video and having a video go up in advance while we were gone and that didn't work out. So I put all the footage together and it was kind of a long, long video. I tried to edit it down and I was successful in editing it down, but I wanted to share a little bit of Cape Cod, just a little bit of my work week that I've had uh, at that point in time. So during that period of time, I kind of like didn't really watch a whole lot of videos. And when I came home, it was like getting caught up. And one of the videos I saw was uh, Mary Ellen after a 60. Uh, she, Mary Ellen just had her birthday. So happy, happy, happy birthday, Mary Ellen. But one of the things that she talked about that as soon as I saw it, I said, oh yes, 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 I have to have that. And I had actually first seen this mentioned on Melissa 55's channel, but for whatever reason, I just didn't order it. So I saw it on Mary Ellen's and I said, I've got to get it. And I am like, I've only had it like, what, three days now? Don't you love Amazon? I love how quick things get delivered, it's amazing. But this little, oh my gosh, and Mary Ellen did such a great job, you you know, with it. It comes, you don't really have to do much of anything, but I, the reason I wanted this was I wanted to be able to vacuum my keyboard keys from my Mac laptop and my, you know, the little cup holders in my car and other little things like in between the seats and stuff like that that you really couldn't get to. And what I really liked is that it doesn't require much of an assembly production at all you just kind of put this little thing in it's pretty well all assembled there's a little dust bag in there they give you a few reusable ones mine came fully charged but if it needed to be charged i would just plug it in it's a usb plug it into my adapter and i'd be good to go not loud the suction is actually pretty good now you know jay looked at me and he said do you really need that? I said, yeah, I do. So then he used it to vacuum his keyboard from his computer and he was like, yeah. So that's the biggest thing for me is being able to vacuum out my keyboard, the, the little cup holders in my car that always kind of collect all sorts of stuff. And I'm sure in between my cushions, although I haven't tried that yet, like I said, I've only recently got this, but thank you to Mary Ellen because I had forgot about it when I watched Melissa 55 talk about it. And uh, then Mary Ellen just brought it to the forefront and I was like, oh yes, I need this. And this is the box it came in, it's Mecco mini a vacuum cleaner it's a really pretty awesome little device so that was really really cool that i bought the other thing i bought and we we're head we're getting a couple of trips coming up and uh, i've got we have convention in march but in february in january we're going to be going down to florida if all works out well and we're going to be spending two weeks in florida and um, we're going to be spending it going and visiting my mother-in-law lives in Venice so we're going to go over to Venice and then we're going to crisscross a little bit and and uh, I'll be vlogging that trip but anyways I wanted to have I wanted to kind of streamline what I'm bringing so I ordered and I haven't got it yet but I ordered a Z palette to re to do my shadows I'm I'm only going to bring one palette with me and I'm going to create and make my own palette out of the Z palette so that should be arriving any day but I also wanted to order this mirror and I really, I mean, I like, I need to have a magnifying mirror. So I don't know if you guys can see this. It is really cool. And it's lights up. 
that's even cooler. So I need to have a magnifying mirror. I need to be able to, oh my gosh, my skin's a mess. I need to be able to, you know, to do that. And I wanted to have one that had 10 times, and I think three times is this one. So it works out perfectly. I had a mirror before that magnified, and but it was a much bigger one. So I wanted a very compact one. It is rechargeable. I have so many of these little recharger things. It's like crazy, but it is rechargeable. I really like it. I received this, I don't know, maybe three days ago. I have not used it because it didn't come in in time to, you know, to take it with me on my trip to the Cape, but it is definitely going with me in my shopping, ex in my trip to Florida and also convention. So because we're going to be packing light, which of course my husband thinks is ridiculous, it's a joke. Um, I just didn't really want to have a whole bunch of stuff. I didn't want to really, you know, take stuff with me and and just be bogged down with stuff. So, so sorry, I had to, to reposition myself. So I, I really do want to streamline my packing. And I thought, yeah, why not? I got this perfect 10 from Patchology, Path, uh, Patchology, <laughs> I can't even talk. And this is, I can't wait to use it. This is a hand glove, and I'm gonna actually use it tonight. So this was sent to me complimentary from Patchology, from the Octoly Network, in exchange for a review so I could try it. Well, anyways, some of you may remember, I don't know how many years ago it was that I had had my diamond reset, and I had sent a picture to my mother with my ring and she said, oh, it's a beautiful ring, but too bad you have such ugly old hands. And I was pretty devastated at the time. And, and I know I mentioned it in a video. So I am always, anything that can make my ugly old ha hands look a little bit better is, um, is gonna be amazing for me. So I'm gonna give these a try. I can't wait to, perfect 10. I think what I'm gonna do is I, I dug out my red light therapy. I'm gonna lie with that on my face and I'm gonna put the mask on my hands. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I will report back on this just to let you know how, how it did, but I'm super excited to try this. Uh, yeah, if it makes my old lady hands look a little bit better, I'm gonna be darn happy about that. So the other, the other thing is I have mentioned Fiera, and um, I had mentioned that Fiera, their concealer, I have used that concealer over and over and over again. It is hands down the number one, the number one best concealer for my skin. For my, I have a scar that I'm trying to cover. I have veins. I have all sorts of different discolorations and blemishes on my skin that I'm trying to cover. Well, recently they sent me the uh, Citrus Stem, Stem C Serum. I have not opened it up yet. I, I have a little bit of vitamin C left. I probably should be finished that within a week and then I'm gonna be tackling that. But they also sent this matte finishing powder. And, and I'll tell you, <laughs> I really like it. Now I'm not a powder gal, but there are times when you just really need to have something set in and just need to be finished. So they sent me this complimentary not um, in expectation of a review that wasn't no kind of strings, just sent it to me to try. Because I talked about wanting to try this on a video. And so I got the finishing powder. I may have showed this to you in a couple of videos before. Um, and I got a brush. I have the other brush that I use for that they sent with my initial concealers. And then the vitamin C. I am so excited to try these. And because the vitamin C I think will be really awesome. I'm a big proponent of vitamin C, and I'm super excited to try this because I really like their products a lot. I shouldn't even say that. I don't like their products. I actually love their products. For years, I've been on a concealer. People go, oh, this concealer, that concealer. I would try it, and while it looked beautiful on them, it never worked for me. It never worked for me. I ended up going to, and I had a little bit of a mini haul, if you want to call it that. I ended up going to Ulta, 
and I bought a couple of things in Ulta that I have really been needing and I wanted to really try the e.l.f. Um, not the e.l.f. the Morphe eyeliners. I put them on my hands in the store. I talked about how much they stayed put on my hands. They didn't come off. They didn't rub off. And I said if they were as nice on my eyes as they did on my hands, I was going to be a happy camper. So I had bought two of them. The other one's in the house. I had bought two of them. And what I discovered, this is my fail. Um, Morphe, these, these liners, they have staying power, but... I have to push down so hard to get it to go on my eyes and I don't need to push hard on my eye. I don't want to. I don't want to have to hold and, and push to get an eyeliner to go on my eyes. So this was a huge fail. The other one was a huge fail. I bought two of them. I also at the same time wanted to try their eye crayon and they were all out in the store so I ordered it online. and. Um, you know, they gave me a tracking number and they said it was, you know, the tracking number every time I checked it was label. Well, I ordered it like October 2nd and two days ago, October, I think it was October 23rd or something, um, two days ago, I reached out to them and I said, hey, what's up with this? It's still showing label to be created. Well, then they said to me, oh, it's lost in transit. I was like, okay. So I canceled that order. I said, forget it, you know, forget about it. Because by that point in time, I was sour on this. So the Morphe, the Morphe eyeliner, the number two, did not do it for me. It, it was too hard to apply. It was um, not at all, it may last a long time, but it was just not anything that I could apply to my eyes. No way. Did not like it at all. I did buy another e.l.f. I do like the e.l.f. brow uh, pencil. I like that you have the little spoolie on one end and then you can color it in. So I bought another one of those. I like them. I actually bought two of them um, because I do like those products a lot. So when I find something I like, I like to have a backup. And um, it, it, I have to crack up because Mary Ellen does the same thing. She's a backup for the backup. Well, yeah. So I've got a backup and a backup because I do like it. And then I also bought their uh, Make Me Brow the gel that you kind of put on. I've used this before, I like it. I just haven't found a brow gel that I think is the nuts. So if you guys have one that you think is the best, let me know and I'll check it out. So the hands, the gloves for my hands, oh my gosh, I'm like so excited about that. A number of you ask what I do for my nails. I do absolutely nothing. My nails are crappy. Um, I bite the cuticles. I'm trying to really do better on my nails. Right now my nails are really bad. The only thing I use is this glass file, and I bought this off of Amazon, I don't know how long ago. I bought a number of them. I have a backup for a backup on these files. So I think that the glass file has really helped my nails tremendously. I highly recommend something like that for those of you that are really questioning it and, um, you know, on nails. I don't put polish on it. I don't wear any false nails right now, although I probably will in the future. But I really like it. Um, I ran out of my unseen sun sunscreen. I still have my Trader Joe's. I love Trader Joe's. It works just as good as the Super Goop, but I ran out and I always cut my containers and dig in. I do the same thing with my toothbrush, toothpaste. So I happen to like AP24. It's a fluoride uh, whitening toothpaste by New Skin. I just I just really like this toothpaste. Um, I don't have the best teeth in the world, so. I any help I can get, I like. And again, I cut this so I can dig in. I have my replacement. I bought like six tubes of it, so I'm all set with that. I What else did I do? Oh, I bought a new lipstick. Um, it's 140. It's a Maybelline. It's mauved. I'm not too sure if I'm gung-ho about it. It's okay. I don't know. Lipstick can be, you know, we're not, um, it can, it can, lipsticks can be funny for me. So we'll see. The other thing I bought was my Morphe setting spray. I kind of like this. This is probably the one I use the most. So I bought one of these and I'm going to buy the smaller can right before we go on our trip. So yeah, our trip is going to be fun because we're going to be down with family and we're going to be doing a whole bunch of different things. 
And I'm just looking forward to, you know, I, I cannot tell you when was the last time I went away in the winter time that wasn't work related. I mean, in March, we have our annual convention and this coming March, it's going to be in Vegas. And um, it was cold last year, last time we went to Vegas. Jay and I went out and we did the Grand Canyon and it was chilly out there. So uh, I have no idea, but going in January, I know Florida is not gonna be the warmest in January, but I am, I'm really looking, um, looking forward to going and, and visiting with my mother-in-law and then visiting with a bunch of friends as we just explore around Florida. It'll be lots of fun. I can't wait to vlog it as well. So we did do the Scarecrow Festival, um, not the Scarecrow, the Pumpkin Festival up in Damascotta, Maine. And the one, and I talked about this, I'm sure, in my last video, but the one pumpkin display that really grabbed me was the one Queen Elizabeth with her, with her, her corgis. Just amazing, amazing work of art. I, I, it's like amazing what some people can do out of a pumpkin. <laughs> So I was like, oh my gosh. But, um, but anyways, I think I'm looking around. I mean, I do have, you know, other things that I bought more of, but you know, nothing, nothing dramatic. I don't have a whole bunch of empties and I just wanted to get on here and, and jibber jab with you guys for a little bit. I am going to be doing a couple of wig reviews. A number of you always ask me, what do I have on my head? Um, I wear, many of you know, I wear toppers on occasion. Sometimes I don't and I wear fake buns. So I have a fake bun on the back of my head and then I just have a John Renault topper, easy, easy top, um, really small topper that I've cut the heck out of and um, worn for years. So I have that, uh, no wig on today. So I just thought I'd, I'd mention it. And what else? Oh, I got a couple of sweaters. I got this one. This is kind of oversized. It's really big, which I like because I'm really big and so it hides me. I got this and I got a green one and then I got a different sweater. It was a blue with a big fat neck with buttons. So I thought that was kind of pretty. I think I'm gonna wear that tomorrow night is my 50th. Tomorrow, you won't see this until Saturday, but Friday night is my 50th high school reunion. So yeah, it'll be fun. Anyways, I'm sure this is super long. You guys are probably thinking, oh my God, she's talking about nothing and nothing and nothing. And I am talking about nothing and nothing, but I'm just talking to all of you because you're all my, my friends, even though I can't see your faces. I'm just imagining your faces in front of me anyways. So I've got, I've got a couple of wig reviews. I definitely want to do a tag video that um, little Susan, little Susan, little poet did. I want to do that tag video. I'll probably try to film that Saturday. We'll see. I don't know. But anyways, thank you. Thank you all for being here with me. And um, I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.